All right, my name is Laura Fields. This is the debridement video. This is my patient uh, we'll be working on. Um, I did uh, the tracing, held up the ham hock and then just pressed it over it and made the tracing with the um, different delineation at the 12 and 6 o'clock orientation. So my muscle is there, the bone is there, the necrotic tissue is labeled there. I have up in the corner the patient's initials and the date. Um, so in measuring the surface area of the wound two different ways on the tracing itself as well as on the, the wound itself, I'll do the tracing first. It'll be length times width. And so the length is, oh, sorry, the width on the tracing is a 2.7. And then the width, sorry, the length is a little bit longer to 2.8. So 2.7 times 2.8 equals 7.5 centimeters squared, and that's what I wrote there. And then we're going to compare it to the, the actual wound itself. So I'll just prop this up. Still with the 12, 12 and 6 orientation. Stay poking, okay. So there we go. Widest portion is let's see this one actually this is 12.5 instead of 12.7 and then the length is tallest is two point actually that looks like three three so there is a big discrepancy between the two and uh, to be consistent I think I would always measure the uh, the wound so um, so there's that. So both of those are, are written down there. Um, and for consistency's sake, I will measure the surface area on the, uh, on the patient. All right, so now doing the shaving. Move these things aside. I'm going to take the 10 blade. with the proper positioning. And then I'm gonna take, do sawing motions with my fingers and wrist, hand and wrist, really light motions, and flattening the blade as I complete the end. There we go. And I'm gonna hold it up Hold it up to the light, and it is translucent. Yay! So put that on the gauze, and you can still see the dye. So I haven't gone through viable tissue. It's still pink. Uh, so kind of make my way through using the curve of the blade and flattening the blade as I go, tilting up with the ten blade. Okay, so I've been, been debriding, been uh, shaving, um, and I guess, I mean, it's still dyed, it's still, we're, we're not down to dye, um, to viable tissue, so it's just a lighter shade of pink, basically. So, and there's my, there's my, um, um, shavings, basically. Okay, so now we're going to go to the cross hatching. We're going to change blades go to the 15, 15 blade, holding it like a pen deep into the um, web space. Oh, I forgot to mention before, my arms were stable. Um, when I was doing the shaving, as they will be for all the different procedures. 
Okay, so cross hatching is I'm going to use the curve fat part of the blade and just lightly come across. There we go. And I'll peel it apart so you can see. See, there's no viable tissue that you can see. It's still all within the dyed areas. Um, earlier when I'd been practicing, that was too deep. But um, on this particular one, these are all good. I like these. Um, so I'm going to keep going. Proper position. Gently. Doesn't take much pressure to go too deep. And this is necessary for when you have eschar for the cross hatching to allow enzymatic debridement to do its work, to be able to do its work. So there is that. Okay, there's no viable tissue in the cross hatching you can see in both directions. Okay, so there's that. Now, debriding the uh, necrotic tissue on the muscle. I'm going to stabilize my ham hock. So now doing debriding the necrotic tissue on the muscle, um, arms are going to be stabilized here. I'm going to use a three-point fixation um, position uh, on the scissors. So that's in the ring finger here and here. The uh, forceps, I, I prefer in my palm. I just have better control. So I'm just gonna pick up a piece of the tissue and then just, with the curved part of the blade, cut. Just the necrotic tissue, not the viable tissue, any of that. So I'm going to just go through. Stabilize my arms better. So this is just a kind of a painstaking procedure. This takes long. I wish I was using a hemostat versus these forceps, but that's okay. Okay. So, arms are stabilized, picking up the tissue, using the curve of the blade to slice without exposing viable tissue below. And that is the technique. Okay. Go ahead and turn. Okay, so that's the end result. I'm starting to reach viable tissue now. And so here's the here's the uh, remnants of the debridement. So um, there you go. Um, so there's that. Um, I hope I did okay. <laughs> so, Laura Field signing off. Thanks.